Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to jump on and do a quick video on fasted cardio and really talk about that for women, what that means, what that is, and is it really good for you to do fasted cardio? Um, there are a lot of articles out there, a lot of research out there, research right, out there about fasted cardio and it's so good and oh, it's gonna burn the most fat and da 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 and um, your metabolism is highest in the morning so why wouldn't you do this cardio in the morning and all these other things. Well, I want you guys to keep in mind a few things when you're looking at fasted cardio and some of that research. Again, research like that is done on men. So when they're me taking measurements, when they're talking about fat burning and being in a fat burning zone the rest of the day, all that stuff really applies for men. Women maximum get to a fat burning zone for three hours a day. And I know this is stuff I cover in the, the training programs that I have. I have a 12 week program where I work with women specifically on hormones and getting your nutrition under control and getting control of any other issues that you're having. I'll put a link below where you can schedule a call with me if you have questions on that. Um, but again, you can message me if you've got questions on any of this too, because it can be really confusing when there are very much conflicting um, ideas out there and everybody's ranting and raving about the fasted cardio and I know I know a lot of my friends will do it and I'm like okay that's great but here's a few key things to keep in mind I don't recommend I don't do fasted cardio myself and I don't recommend it for a lot of people for this reason specifically when I talk about fasted cardio I'm thinking like you are busting your butt out there like you're going out for an hour run first thing in the morning without having anything in your system that's not necessarily beneficial right so when you're looking at fasted cardio how long how long are you going for a run for? How long are you doing cardio? How intense is it? Now, if you are somebody who just kind of works out and I do a workout and it's 30 minutes or maybe an hour or oh, here and there and la la la, okay, that's fine. But if you are an athlete and if you perform on any type of level where you're pushing your body harder, if you do fasted cardio, that's actually going to be harder on your system, meaning if you're training for something, you don't wanna put your body under more stress. And the female body has a very specific reaction to stress. It is storing fat. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so good at it. We're so good at it. Our bodies are so good at it. Great, yay, right? So when people are talking about fasted cardio, if you were to say get up in the morning and go for you know a light jog or something, or you're getting up and moving your body and you're getting some, you know, your blood moving, that type of a thing, but you're not really pushing yourself then that's something totally different. Like getting some movement going, stretching, right? This would be the same thing if you were to get up and do any type of movement. You know, you're not really putting the pedal to the metal, right? So how long are you doing it for? Are you doing it for 20 minutes? Okay, fine, that's fine. But if you're doing it for 30 or more minutes, you're entering glycogen depletion mode, you're entering cortisol increase mode, and that's where your body's gonna have a heck of a time recovering from it if you're not replenishing your system and you didn't pre-feed it properly, especially if you're an athlete. And if you're an athlete, you're not actually gonna to get to this point. We, we forget as athletes that it actually takes us longer than to get into a burning type of zone, right? Just going out and working out on the regular isn't gonna be helpful. So for me, you know, when I start you know, football here and when I have two hour practices and things like that and I do, hour, I do 90 minute intense workout sessions on the weekend, when I do a short class, if I do like a quick like 40 minute class of some kind, sometimes that's just a warm up for me. And that's okay, right? It's like loosening me up, it's you know, getting things moving, great. But it's not a workout, it's more of a warm up. I remember, um, <laughs> I remember hearing the, uh, the Olympic girls soccer team, their warm up run is five miles. Now that would be a workout for me, <laughs> but for them, that's their warm up, five miles. So keep that in mind. This, how long is your fasted cardio? It's, it's dependent on you. So there's, there's no template that you should be looking at. And again, if you have a question, click the link below. I'm going to put below in this video, schedule a call with me. I'd be more than happy to navigate this for you. The other thing is that, so again, for me, when I get up and go to the gym, I'm not going to go somewhere and then do a little workout, come back and then go work out later to do weightlifting or something. I I'm a mom. I got stuff to do. I got to get my stuff in or it ain't happening that day. It's just how it is. 
So if you get there and say you go to the gym and you do a little bit of fasted cardio and then you get take a break and you get some food and you get a shake or you do something to kind of replenish and fuel your body and then you hit a workout mode, that's totally, again, there's a whole workout schedule. I'm, in my upcoming book um, is Nutrition for Female Athletes specifically. I have all these things listed out there for you for your timeline and your schedule of working out, which are really, really important. But if you're like, oh, I'm gonna do some cardio because I'm at the gym and then I'm just gonna throw in some weights too because I'm already here, Eh, that's gonna actually stress your body out more. You're not gonna build muscle. Your body's gonna use that muscle tissue for energy, negating the results that you wanna get. And you're gonna get more depleted and exhausted. And then the other thing to keep in mind here is hormones, your hormone phase. And now this is something, again, so I have my book as I drop stuff here, as I grab it, my fem The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. And this information is also gonna be in my upcoming book for Nutrition for Female Athletes. But there's a specific hormone phase, and it's progesterone that you don't want to do this in. So if you're in estrogen phase, that's something that you could potentially do some type of fasted cardio. Again, I'm varying that on, are you protein pacing overall? Are you getting the right nutrients in overall? Do you have any other stress issues in your life? Da, 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 da. Because if you're going to do this, you want it to actually work for you, right? If you do and you have all these other things that are great, then this would be the time days one through 14 of your cycle that it would actually be the most beneficial for your system because when your hormones shift, game over, your body's in a completely different mode and it's going to be a heck of a lot harder to even get close to a fat burning zone. So that's what I got for you guys today. Again, I, um, we are starting our next big round for our tw the 12 week challenge, oh, February 1st. So for those of you that have been on the fence, if you want to learn more about it, um, click that link. We will chat about whatever it is you're struggling with. But again, so many women are seeing such amazing results. If you aren't following me on Instagram, do that because you can see some of the stories that I'm posting of women, um, and they're my Instagram stories, just some of the things that they're saying about the amazing transition that they're having in their bodies and in their lives because they're able to have this change, have this shift. So I'll put that link below. You can schedule a call. We can chat about it. But February 1st, you guys, February 1st, we are starting a big round of women who are jumping on board with a 12-week challenge to really get your hormones under control, finally start seeing some results, and keep them so you don't have to start all over again. All right, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know your questions, and I will see you later.